Today we have Grand Marnier Cuvée Louis Alexander. And this is something that, I guess it's been out for a little while, but we just kind of... Just, just found it. Yeah, we kind of came, we just, just came across this. And the difference between the two is the Grand Marnier, it, well, this has been around since like the 1880s. They, they, they blend just regular cognac, probably, I'm, I'm guessing it's VS cognac with orange essence. Orange essence, but it's several different years oftentimes, so that it's always the same no matter um, what year they make it. So the Grand Marnier Cuvée Louis Alexander is actually VSOP. So if you're familiar with cognac, you know that the the grades of cognac go VS, VSOP, and XO, with XO being the very best. So why don't we try this regular Grand Marnier just a little bit before we go, just a sip of that. Just before we try the Cuvée um, Louis Alexander. It's very aromatic, so I mean, the, the orange is, is, is so um, strong on the nose mm. and on the palate too. Mm -hmm. But you can step it up a notch with something that's um, still relatively affordable. How much was the uh, Louis Alexander? It is about $60 or so. So, um, give or take. So the Grand Marnier, the normal Grand Marnier, I mean, you get the, uh, the, you get the orange flavor with the... Citrus and... Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very straightforward and it, it tastes the same pretty much um, from the beginning to the end. A lot of viscosity. Mm-hmm but it's really, really tasty. Okay, so let's try this Cuvée Louis Alexander. It's more subtle. It is not as strong of, of an orange peel. I almost get strawberries and orange with it. This is more just a shaving of the orange. This one's even, even more subtle, more faint. There's almost a sweeter smell to it. Kind of like candied orange peel. Mm-hmm. It's smoother, you know, around the edges. Yeah. You, you know, it welcomes you in and it makes you want to take another sip. Yes, I, I would say that this versus the Grand Marnier, from a price point perspective, the elegance with this one is worth the step up. I mean, yeah. $65 for this. I mean, like I said earlier, you can, you can do a pretty darn good cocktail with this, just like you would a regular Grand Marnier, but, this is such a better sipping Grand Marnier than the, than the regular one. I mean, you can tell the difference, but this just takes it up a considerable step. And I really, I like this. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would definitely pick this over the Grand Marnier. However, um, as you're mentioning, blending things, you know, if you're gonna blend, you probably aren't going to notice the difference, to be honest. So if you wanna keep with the cheaper price point. Probably would. But I think for <laughs> sipping, which is what we oftentimes do, I would definitely, um, Spend a little more money. Yeah, so Grand Marnier, um, this Cuvée Louis Alexander, if you haven't ever tried this one and you're a Grand Marnier fan, for the little extra that this bottle offers, I would definitely try it. But every time you step up, it is uh, it is certainly noticeable and really, really delightful. It's just how much do you want to spend when you're buying these liqueurs. So that's, that's the issue. So, all right. Thanks for watching us on our video. Yeah, we'll see you next time on Wine Forecaster.